There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like maybe Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or giving a monkey a shower Surfing tidal waves Creating nanobots Or locating Frankenstein's brain Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving our sister insane. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Barry! So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! Do you know, kids, this theatre was built over 70 years ago in this Neo-Egyptian style. And apparently there used to be a whole pharaoh's tomb display with a mummy in his sarcophagus. I mean, you couldn't pick a better place to watch a classic old mummy movie. There's an inscription here, an, an incantation of some sort. Owa Tagu Siam. Dad, where do you find a mummy? Hidden deep in the bowels of the pyramids. Oops, better put this on vibrate. The will make the mummy come to life and obey your commands. Well, beat me with a chicken. Ow! What? Oh, hey, stop! It's a mummy! Cool. Dad, is it hard to get into a pyramid? Yes, indeed. Often you had to negotiate various booby traps that were set centuries before. You ridiculous mummy! You've just tripped one of your own booby traps! She's gonna blow! Awesome booby trap! Verb. We should get our own mummy. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba Let me tell you about my buddy. He's 3,000 years old. He's wrapped in bandages and covered in molded debris. My undead mummy and me. Mm -hmm. If a bully ever tries to poke me in the eye, I'll introduce him to my decomposing guy and you flee. I found my undead mummy and me. All the kids at school are gonna have a conniption When they get a load of my funky Egyptian MC My undead mommy and me Yeah Undead mommy and me That would be awesome. Dad, can we... Come on, Ferb. We'll be back before he wakes up. Oh, those bozos aren't pulling anything on my watch. Hey, Ferb, where's Perry? Good morning, Agent P. Doofenshmirtz is at it again. It appears that he's purchased a string of odd items. One pound of blood sausage... Uh, it's my grocery list. Here it is. One magnet, one map of the city's drainage pipes, and two tons of scrap metal. It's in your hands now, Agent P. Over and out. Mr. Employee, sir, where's the mummy exhibit? Manager assistance requested. Yes? These boys want to know where the mummy exhibit is. It's in storage, in the basement. Guess who's going to the basement? Uh, excuse me, where are the restrooms? Manager assistance requested. Yes? There they go. Look, pith helmets. We must be going the right way. Say something pithy. That's it. I'm calling Dad. <laughs> uh... Oh, forget it. I'm going in myself. Ah! Did you hear that? Maybe it's the mummy. Ah! Ew, my shoe is all squishy. Uh, Ferb, what are you doing? Whoa! Who knew looking for mummies would be so much fun? Watch this!
Hey, Ferb, this was our first booby trap. Woo! Hey, look, storage. We're here. Oh, when I catch them. <laughs> One more little bit. Very the platypus, as usual, your timing is incredible. And by incredible, of course, I mean completely incredible. No use, Perry the Platypus. I made this out of something that cannot be penetrated. Pure evil! And a blend of space-age polymers. You see, Perry the Platypus, I'm going to unleash the water being held by this dam into that huge drainage pipe that leads directly to the ocean. The additional water will raise the sea level by 2%, and then my property, one block from the shoreline, will become beachfront property! <laughs> And to release the water from the dam, I have invented a ray, which attracts wood like a magnet attracts metal. The Ordinator! Which was almost complete until you rudely interrupted me. <laughs> oh, look at this, Perry. It's my paintbrush. You know, the one you knocked out of my hand a few moments ago. Maybe you want to try to take it back from me now, huh? huh? You want to try? <laughs> Goodbye, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> Owa Tagu Siam. There's nothing down here but fakey promotional lobby junk. For all we know, there might not even be such thing as a mummy. Yeah, I'll be right with you. I mean... <gasps> I didn't expect them to be so scary. I mean, can you imagine the angry, twisted soul hidden under those bandages? Makes me shudder. But you know what? We came down here looking for a mummy, and I'm not leaving without one. Let's get him! Hey, Ferb. We got our own mummy. Now, how are we gonna get it home? And finished. Harry! It is working! <laughs> it is functioning properly! Perry the Platypus, you defeated my bubble of pure evil. No. What? Is my nose really that pointy? You know, 
Lord, this is our second booby trap. There you are, Perry. Hey, Candace, you missed all the fun. Allow me to introduce our mummy. Hey, where's our mummy? Mummy? Mummy! Well, mummy has supper waiting for us at home. Candace, why are you all wet? Uh. You know, mummies have their brains pulled out through their nose. <sighs> the lucky ones. Oh boy, did that kid stink or what? But maybe you've got what it takes to be the next Super American Pop Teen Idol Star! Auditions open today at the Google Flex Mall in beautiful downtown Danville. Auditions? Today? Yes, today! At 2 o'clock sharp. <sighs> I've got to tell Stacy! <laughs> oh! That pop star stuff might be funny first. But then you'd be stuck in a dead-end job. Too bad you can't just do it once and move on. Well, what you're talking about is a one-hit wonder. A one-hit wonder? What's that? Well, a musical act goes to the top of the charts with a catchy tune and meaningless lyrics. Then they throw a big diva tantrum, lose their label, and they fade to obscurity. Before you know it, their song ends up as elevator music. Years later, they have a reunion concert. And after that, they never sing again. And no one remembers them. <laughs> Not that I would know anything about that. A one-hit wonder. Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Hey, Stacy, what am I going to sing? Hello, what are you gonna wear? Hmm, what do you think? Too much, too little, oh, too clean, too dirty, too street, too goth. Where'd you get that? My mom's closet. You like it? Not too retro. Perfect. Nice, huh? Yeah, you should have tried that on first. Let's go. Chicka, chicka, chew, wop. Meaningless lyrics done. How's the catchy tune coming along? Excellent. We'll be done by lunch. Hey, where'd Perry go? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Oh, good morning, Agent P. We've just received word that Dr. Doofenshmirtz has been buying up construction toys at an alarming rate. We need you to find out what he's up to and put a stop to it. We'll meet back at the entrance in an hour. Come on, Stacy, we gotta hurry so we can get a spot in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I've never sung in front of so many people. Uh, Candace? Hey! I can't do this. Oh, yes, you can. You're not a quitter, you're a fighter. I am? Sure you are. You're a lean, mean singing machine. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Now you're looking like a winner. <laughs> hey, Candace. And that is what a gorilla looks like when you try to take away his food. Oh, hi, Jeremy. Are you auditioning too? Nah, I came to see this hot new band called PFT. I downloaded their song this morning. It's tight. The hundredth contestant gets to sing on stage with the band. Really? Hey, looks like that's you. Congratulations, you're the hundredth contestant. Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady has the honor of singing on stage with PFT. So now, the band you've been waiting for, Phineas and the Ferb Toad. Phineas? Candace, you're the 100th contestant? How serendipitous. This will be like a brother-sister thing. Now, I'm assuming you've heard our single. I mean, who hasn't, right? It's a big hit. So here's the words, but don't worry if you get lost. The lyrics are meaningless anyway. I'll point when it's your turn. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ferbettes. I'm Phineas, and this is Ferb, and we're going to sing a song. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Mow, mow, mow. And my heart starts pumping. Chicka, chicka, chew up. Never gonna stop. Gitchy, gitchy, goo means that I love you. I said about chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Mow, mow, mow. And my heart starts pumping.
chicka chicka chew up Never gonna stop Itchy itchy goo means that I love you I said a bow chicka bow wow Goodness! Wait a minute! What are you doing? I'm cueing you. How did you get a hit single? Well, it wasn't easy. It took most in the morning and half a dozen phone calls. But if you're willing to put in the work... That's it! I'm gonna tell Mom. Okay, tell her what? <coughs> Don't... I'm just gonna tell. Get you, get you, you means I love you. Mom! 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 Mom, you've gotta see this. Let me guess. Is it unbelievable? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Hi, I'm Ben Baxter, huge old records. Why don't you come by my office in an hour and we can talk about your future. Future? Cool. He must be a psychic. Come on, come on, come on! See? There they are on stage! Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Marty the Rabbit Boy and his musical blender! Come on, we're getting you an eye exam. No, no, wait! <laughs> Everything is ready. Uh, what is it now? Oh, are you my new temp? Well, let me just catch you up to speed. I know it's a bit of a mess. I'm just putting the finishing touches on my latest maniacal plan. You'll see in a few minutes, I will unleash an unprecedented reign of terror upon the entire tri-state area. And Perry the Platypus will never be the wiser. <gasps> Perry the Platypus? You're a temp? Are times that hard? Oh, I told Mom I don't need glasses. What the? Oh, no, no, wait! Uh... Mom! Doofenshmirtz, Sable, and Pop! Sorry, Perry the Platypus, but you are too late! This one's nice. Mom, come here. You gotta see this. <laughs> Candace, I haven't paid for this hey! yet. <laughs> when it comes to havoc, nobody reeks like me. Oh, wait, wait, you're not supposed to touch that. Hey, hey, no fair. Wow, what a great painting. How did you get permission for that? Oh, they didn't mind. The building's scheduled for demolition. Uh, ma'am, you're gonna have to come back and pay for that. Yes, of course, officer. Hey, weren't you Lynn Donna? <laughs> yes, I was. I can't believe you recognized me. Well, I was a huge fan. You still have to pay for the jacket. I know. Very clever, Perry the Platypus. I was trying to ignore you, but you forced my hand. And now... I shall relax with a nice, tasty deli platter. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? Here you go, Perry the Platypus. Care for some pepper? Just say when. Anytime. Boys, let me start by saying we love your act, and we want to be in the Phineas and the Ferb Tones business. Uh, by the way, aren't you a little young to be pop stars? No. Well, okay then. We're prepared to offer you a very lucrative contract if you'll just sign exclusively with us for your follow-up single. Follow-up single? Who do you think we are? Some two-bit hacks who'll keep writing new songs just because you pay us obscene amounts of cash? Phineas and the Ferb Tones are strictly a one-hit wonder. Good day to you, sir. Diva tantrum. Check. Elevator music. Check. Uh, who needs them? We've still got this videotape of their performance. We can do live CDs, DVDs, podcasts. Heck, we can digitally recreate their images to make our own sitcom, The Videos and Verb Show. We can squeeze 20 years of entertainment out of this one videotape. Ah, the giant robot is coming right at us. Wow, you sure like a lot of pepper. I'm more of a paprika man myself. <laughs> it will take more than condiments to foil my brilliant plan. The tape! Phew! What an unbelievable stroke of luck! 
I'm okay. It's still better than I Course you bury the bottom bus! Oh, there you are, Perry. Come on, guys. We still have one thing left to do. And the winner of today's next Super American Pop Teen Idol star is... Marty the Rabbit Boy in his musical blender! Oh, give him a hand! He's going to Hollywood! Hey, Candace. What's wrong? I'm better than that guy. Oh, I should have taken blender lessons. So why did you run off earlier? Uh, my brothers. They always ruin everything. Well, you like to sing, right? Yeah. Then you shouldn't let your brother's fun ruin your good time. You know, if you get a chance to sing, you ought to sing. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Hey, Candace. You're still the hunter's contestant. Want to come up and help us out? Bow, chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Bow, bow, bow. And my heart starts pumping. Chicka, chicka, chew, wow. I'm never gonna stop. Get chicka, get chicka, goo means that I love you. I said, bow, chicka, bow, wow. That's what my baby says. Bow, bow. That was great! I've been thinking of my brothers all wrong! Not a nuisance! My tickets! Thanks, you've been great! This is the last time we're ever gonna sing that song. We're retiring! Good night! The mall is now closed and will reopen at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you for shopping with us. She's been calling Donna and I want to You loved her in the 80s. Get ready to love her again. Lynn Donna's mega hit. I'm Lynn Donna and I want to have fun has been remixed and retranslated into your favorite languages. Portuguese, Dutch, Canadian, Japanese, Esperanto, Big Latin, Dog, and everyone's favorite. Hey, Mom, what you watching? Oh, nothing. She wants to have fun.